the Wisely 60W JPT M7 MOPA is a very capable and refined machine. From the 110 and 200mm lens, backed by a JPT MOPA source, and a clear attention to the finer details, does it have everything you need and more when considering a long-term tool investment? Will it fulfill all your stainless steel and titanium color marking dreams? More importantly, is it the best for you? What's up guys? Now, I did receive this unit for free and I wanna be perfectly clear, we don't do paid reviews and we won't do paid reviews. I was not paid to do this review and all thoughts and opinions I'm sharing here and forever will always be my own. I just wanna be upfront about that. I appreciate all of you who value my thoughts and trust my feedback. I would still encourage you to always do your due diligence before a purchase and never be scared to ask questions. Now on with the review. With options for 20, 30, and 60 watts from Wisely in this series, there are options to arrange a wide case of needs and budgets with maintaining a high quality expectation. Opting for a 60 watt JPT M7 MOPA source accompanied by 110 and 200 millimeter lenses, this is a highly capable piece of equipment. Being completely air cooled, no chiller or other hardware needed for basic setup beyond the need for an exhaust, this makes for a very compact and versatile setup can be easily fit in most shops and most hobby areas. It arrived well packaged in a crate with very robust foam and wrap to keep everything safe and foam blocks to keep everything from shifting or sliding, showing a great attention to detail and a level of care that can really be appreciated by the end user. It means that the purchaser will have the best possible chance of receiving an intact machine when it arrives at your door. Anyone who was there for the unboxing on livestream will know exactly how well this was packaged. Speaking of packaging, that leads us perfectly into contents and assembly. The machine weight and accessories is estimated at 45 kilograms, or about 100 pounds, and package weight comes in at an estimated 75 kilograms, 165 pounds. That said, when it arrives, be prepared with a hand cart, hand truck, or some moving lift straps with a friend, as you may need it. I was able to go ahead and strap it onto a hand cart and bring it into the workshop that way, but keep in mind it's very bottom heavy, so a pallet jack or lift straps to lift it straight up and down would be far easier and safer to control. I was able to strap it onto a hand cart and bring it into the workshop that way, but keep in mind it's very bottom heavy. Pallet jack or some lift straps to lift it straight up and down would be far easier and safer to control. It would be really unfortunate to see your brand new machine arrive perfectly from the other side of the world only to be dropped off the edge of a tipping hand truck being moved 20 feet down your driveway into your workshop. This unit came with power on safety keys, ruler, foot pedal, a backup foot pedal, rotary, extra jaws, USB and power cables, Allen keys for opening and working on the machine. It also came with paperwork as to what was included with the machine, core file and alignment details, flash drive with accompanying files and EasyCAD for each lens, and some bonus thin metal business cards to test the machine out with. This unit also came with two squares of stainless steel that were used to test and validate the machine was working properly, and also included some tests for colors and other style marks. A checklist also of all the steps that Wisely and their staff went through from start to finish on building this machine and ensuring that it was as ready for you as possible is also included. This ensures that every quality mark is hit and nothing is missed before the machine gets to you. With everything unboxed and assembled, it was time to test the machine and see what we could do. Making up most of the chassis and components of the machine, aluminum parts everywhere, and everything feels solid and is sure to last. Included also is a wisely branded Galvo scan head to direct your beam with two red light alignment buttons for quick focusing, matching up to each of the two lenses that accompany the machine from the factory. With the safety key and e-stop, this also gives excellent control of who has access to operate the laser and the ability to quickly stop the laser for safety or emergency situations. The 500mm motorized z-tower is controlled via a pendant with up and down buttons. There are lots of people in the community who are very happy with their z-towers being controlled via motor, and there are some who prefer manual. In my case, I find that the tower moves fast enough to quickly move up and down, but slow enough where I don't have a problem getting a perfect alignment. The connectors for the Z-axis control, pendant, foot pedal, and rotary are all keyed and pinned for each part, so you can't mistakenly plug in to the wrong port with the wrong part. They are also clearly labeled for easy setup and lock on with a screw on collar so they don't become loose. 
On stream, you may remember seeing that the Z axis was not working, which wasn't an ideal first impression, admittedly. After stream, I inspected the internals to find that the Z axis stepper had been unplugged and not fully seated. With that, I know the checklist of assembly and testing shows points for wiring and plugging in that cable, and also includes testing Z axis movement with the inspector marking this when complete. So it is possible that this jiggled loose during shipping. It was indeed in place, just not fully seated, and while it is never fun to have to troubleshoot before even trying things out, it was at least an easy fix for an issue that could happen to anyone. So I went ahead and checked the focus of the red dot alignment lights for each of the lenses. They were spot on to the T for both lenses. While many of us prefer and rely on physical focus sticks for measuring for focus, having those locked down to the proper position so I can simply turn on the one for the lens I'm using and move the z-axis up or down until the beam meets with the red dot coming down from the lens, you'll know it's perfect. Just know that if you change lenses to something other than what the machine came with and was tuned for, You'll either need to adjust the red dot alignment to match the lens or create a focal stick. This is a split and open design, making it fairly easy to assemble, move around, and is a great space savings. But if you have other people working or passing through the same area, or is an open space that's open to other people, plan accordingly for laser safety. Laser machines are very capable of blinding someone, even with an off reflection. If you have kids that may run through the area, loved ones, coworkers, or customers, anyone passing by the laser without safety glasses, this will need to be a consideration for you. You may need to either ask wisely when ordering to quote an enclosure to come with your laser or check one out from another vendor such as Cloudray. Maybe even consider making one yourself. Either way, be sure the people around you are safe. While this wasn't generally a concern for me while picking out a machine as I don't have any young ones running around and I do have a space set aside for just laser work, my family is becoming more curious, and some of them don't understand the danger of walking into a space without notice or eye safety on and seeing the pretty machine making sparks. So at least in my current space, you'll see me likely building or buying an enclosure in the near future to protect those around me, and I'll share my experience with how I accomplished that another time. But I did get exactly what I expected out of this machine and form factor as I requested it. This doesn't apply just to this machine, it does apply to every split style system, so do your due diligence on safety as well, please. Getting going software-wise, Wisely does send a setup EasyCAD file and folder ready to go, a copy configured for each lens, and a fully tuned core file for keeping your engravings looking good and to fix skew and distortion. I went through and did my own core file for each just for practice, but honestly, the core files that Wisely had completed are just as accurate as anything I could reproduce and serve simply as practice for me, and there really wasn't anything to gain from it other than the experience for when I add lenses in the future. That said, I'm able to use standard M85 fiber lenses in this machine, so I am able to purchase replacements for what I have if something happens. I can expand on my collection from Wisely directly, or I can simply go to Amazon or Cloudray if I find something specific I need, or if they're out of stock. In opening up the machine, we find here our 60 watt JPT M7 source, and a model number that can be referenced back for technical data and frequency range if you ever had to set up everything again in software. Noted earlier, there is also 20 and 30 watt JPT source variants for this model of machine from Wisely. So if you simply don't need a beastly 60 watts of power and a more modest 20 or 30 watts of power fit your needs and budget, there are certainly options in this line that are just as premium and high quality. While there are a lot of good options for other sources out there, JPT tends to be considered a premium laser source for fiber lasers. And having that added flexibility that the M7 MOPA model offers has been very helpful in reproducing a variety of colors and effects. I'm still working on mastering MOPA and colors overall, and it's a whole nother layer of topic of information to master, aside from mastering the laser. That said, I'm working on getting my MOPA color experience to a point where I can help everyone in learning that, but that's a video for another time. The hottest topic in usability I see people looking at these days. Does it work with Lightburn? With the EasyCAD 2 board we specifically asked for when considering this machine, I'm happy to report it absolutely works with Lightburn. While I've done a fair amount of testing in EasyCAD, getting adjusted, and getting baselines for the equipment, a significant portion of testing also occurred in Lightburn. That said, I did have some issues on day zero with EasyCAD, however as many people in the industry know, there's a certain level of difficulty to expect with EasyCAD 2, and day zero is one of those days for me until I completely reinstalled the driver, restarted Windows, which I couldn't do during stream, and the laser, the laser would not fire. That's entirely a software issue related to EasyCAD and Windows, so I also can't fault Wisely for that in any way. 
During my months of testing with this machine, working with a variety of materials, project styles, rotary work, project mark, 3D sliced engraves from Lightburn, and cylinder projection, and having spent hours and hours working on reproducing MOPA colors with both locked and unlocked pulse width, I can say I've tried just about everything most users would ever plan to do with this machine. Now with the time I've invested into this machine, I was a bit surprised when I came down to the shop to do some additional filming for this review, when the power supply that powers this machine popped when keying it on. Very similar to a sound a large truck tire having a high pressure blowout on the highway next to your car makes. You can imagine this was surprising. While it is disappointing, I do have to remind myself, no hardware is ever perfect, and every machine at some point will experience failure. Upon reporting it to our sales rep late on a Friday night, sorry for missing Friday Live Day guys, we talked through identifying the issue, and we were able to confirm the power supply did indeed pop on me. I confirmed voltage in, while getting zero voltage on every output out. If you've never tested a power supply previously, Alex has a great video walkthrough on that, I'll leave a link in the description below. While we did miss the opportunity to get that shipped out Saturday, power supply was ready to go first thing Monday morning when the shipper came to pick up. It was estimated to be here for the following Friday, so five business days. It actually ended up coming on Wednesday, so very fast turnaround, and them having everything ready to go ASAP on a warranty replacement was huge for me. I'm very impressed by their customer service and their turnaround time. That firmly leads us into the cost and value of the machine. The customer service team at Wisely has been fantastic in every sense of the word. Whether it's been questions about technical specifications, other machines they offer, the testing they do, or them asking for and discussing feedback on power supply failure, and them taking that feedback to make their product better. I appreciate that while they're putting out a solid and well-built product, they're open and asking for feedback on what occurred when an issue happens, what caused it, and working together on improving it. This gives me the confidence that while I'm already happy with their product, I expect it to continue to improve for everyone who purchases going forward. While it is true that most laser companies are assembling very similar machines, or even machines with the same specs and hardware, the quality in which they're wired, the care taken in assembly for the end user, usability upgrades, and longevity and functionality gained from those can have an enormous impact on the end product and its fit and finish. The machine as it's configured in my shop now was $6,800 US from Wisely. Now that is a premium price, but I also feel I got a premium machine premium experience, and premium customer service when it came to a failure and immediate warranty resolution. With factoring in shipping and custom tax for import, that does add up. That said, there isn't much to upgrade outside of maybe a few additional lenses to round out the collection, or a small enclosure to protect my family members from blinding themselves watching the pretty sparks fly. There is no denying that this machine isn't the least expensive machine available and will surely be a turnoff for some who don't have the need for the higher power or the MOPA functionality. For others who are seeking that power and functionality, it isn't the most expensive either. While I've recently had personal experiences with other companies opt not to honor the warranties they've sold me with some of the equipment I've purchased, I am honored to say that at the time of recording, this setup comes with a three-year warranty, which I have no reason to place any doubt in after seeing how quickly they troubleshot my issue with me and processed and set up shipping for my warranty replacements. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't impressed at the offerings of this 60 watt unit from Wisely. It's been an absolute pleasure working with this machine, and even at its lowest point, it was very easy to troubleshoot and repair thanks to the service and warranty experience, and the quality that gets put into organizing and properly wiring and labeling every wire in this machine. At this price point, it seems to land right in the mid-range of prices for similar wattage machines on the market, but with a very high level of quality, included options, and post-purchase service and warranty offered. With that, I can confidently say that at an average price point, they're hitting at an above average quality and service level. And with this machine as an example of their quality, I have no issue recommending a Wisely Laser for anyone's shop. Again, for those of you who have hung out and listened to our thoughts and opinions on this machine and others, we appreciate you hanging out with us and valuing our thoughts. If you are in the market for a laser, I would wholeheartedly recommend the one I've reviewed here. A link will be in the description. This is also not the only machine we've taken an in-depth look at, and it certainly won't be the last. 
So if you are in the market for another laser, you can also check out our channel for further reviews and content, and we'll certainly be sharing more reviews coming soon. If there is any specific hardware or types of lasers you'd like to see us review in the future, we'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below and tell us what you're interested in hearing about. A special thank you to the Laser Master Academy members who have supported the community and made this content possible. If you'd like to join and support the community and keep the awesome content coming, consider joining the LMA. A link will be in the description below. Links to our Discord and Facebook community will also be below. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you've enjoyed the content. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.